Don't you just love taking tests? <laughs> well, we have to take tests to get certified, to prove that we know the material uh, and all those exam objectives that go into becoming certified, whether it's with Cisco or Juniper or whatever other industry certification you're going after. You got to take a test to prove it. But to recertify three years later, it's usually about three years, uh, there are ways to recertify for an additional three years without having to take a test. All right, so sit back and I'm going to show you how to do that. In my case, I needed to recertify my JNCDS DC, Juniper Networks Certified Design Specialist Data Center. And uh, so my three years had elapsed. It's time to recertify. And I wanted to take a course to recertify. Okay, so I'm going to show you the process that you need to go through to make that happen. Juniper.net, go to their website, go to training, recertification. On here, you find out a lot of different information about how to recertify. Okay, so here's the guidelines. Here's different ways to recertify. Of course, you can take an exam to recertify. Or if you're already taking a course, you could use that as a way of recertifying. So recertify through course attendance. Click learn more. Now, it shows you the process here, and we'll get into that later. But look at the course mappings that will recertify you. Okay, so... Here you have automation and DevOps, cloud, data center, design, enterprise route switch, MIST AI, security, and service provider route switch. All right, back to the top. Let's click that. So in my case, I needed to recertify my JNCDS DC. That's a design specialist in the data center. So I'm going to go down to data center. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> I'm going to go down to design. It's a design cert data center specialty. So JNCDS DC is right here. It's a design cert. It's the specialist level and it's the data center one. Complete any one of the following courses to recertify. Only one is required. Well, there's only one listed. So that makes the uh, choice, the choosing very easy. I had to take JND DC, Juniper Networks Design Data Center. If you click on it, it's going to take you to a place where you can sign up for the course. I was fortunate enough to have the all access pass. So uh, it's right here. So I have access to all the training for one year. And so I signed up for the course. You know, here's the courses that are listed. Sometimes you have the option to have one that's on demand, which is really nice. You can go at your own pace. In the case of this course, there's two of them listed here, instructor-led online. So it's going to be a five-day course. That's what this one was. And uh, it's instructor-led. Now, you can click this, find out if there's other options in other areas of the world. Uh, all regions will show you all the regions. Oh, there's, there's another one that was listed when you've selected all the regions. And there's your regions right there. OK, so that is how to find the course that you need in order to recertify your specific certification. OK, that's the one I had to take right there. Now, after you complete the course, you will get an email from the Juniper Learning Portal saying, congratulations, you have completed your training, JND DC. Action required, survey and certificate. To receive your course completion certificate, you will need to complete the Juniper Networks course survey. Uh, interestingly, in the email, I already had an attachment with my course completion certificate, but I went ahead and completed the Juniper Networks course survey anyways. Okay, so that's what you will be looking for. There we go. Nice, shiny. Uh, course completion certificate, Certif certificate of attendance. It acknowledges that Aaron Gould has successfully completed 
Juniper Networks Design Data Center, instructor-led online, I-L-O. Okay, JND-DC, that's the name of the course. I completed it April 1st. Hey, this ain't, this ain't an April Fool's joke. I really completed it. <laughs> okay, and so I'm showing you the certificate because you're going to need it in one of these next steps where you will upload this to Juniper's certification tracking website. All right, this next step can be accomplished in a couple different ways. Go to juniper.net, go to training. You will have had to already log in in order to see this. You can see I'm logged in right there. Uh, click manage my certs right here. After you click that, it will take you to the following page. Okay, here it is. It brings you to certmetrics.com the Juniper Networks Education Services Certification Program. This is where all your certifications are tracked with Juniper, if you didn't know that already. And so you will need to log in here with your CertMetrics ID. All right, and once you log in, you will see the following. And before I proceed, if you just wanted to go to www.certmetrics.com slash Juniper, that's the same thing too. Okay, so once you log in, it'll bring you to this page. And then you're going to want to hover over certifications to get an update of where your certifications are as far as when they expire and things like that. You probably will already be well aware of this, uh, which is probably why you're taking a course to recertify. And so, but let's, let's look at that regardless. Okay, so here we can see that my data center design specialist uh, under the design track expires 2022 june 18th so this year uh, it's going to expire and so i went about uh, recertifying that through a course attendance and let me show you what you need to do next with taking that course uh, completion certificate and letting juniper know that they can go ahead and recertify you now so this next step is going to take us back to something we saw previously when we were looking at the juniper.net website on recertifying. It's this same link right here, JNCP, the Juniper Networks Certification Program. That's just an acronym that describes the entire Juniper certification program itself, not a specific certification. JNCP recertification. So if we click on that, it takes us back to this website. And so as we scroll down, we can see uh, of the ways to recertify through course attendance. Let's click on that one more time. And I will draw your attention to something that I mentioned previously. The recertification process, okay? So to recertify with course attendance, which is exactly what we're doing, you download your course completion certificate from the Juniper Networks Learning Portal. Well, I had mine attached in my email. But just in case you deleted your email that had that certificate attached to it or you misplaced it, Juniper conveniently has your course completion certificate located on the Juniper Networks Learning Portal. So you can get to the Learning Portal by going to learningportal.juniper.net. Then while on the learning portal, go to my training enrollments. You'll see that I'm enrolled in a lot of courses, but the one that we're interested in, interested in is the one that I completed on, excuse me, right here, April 1st, JND DC. So if we click on that, you will see a little completed ribbon. If you click on that completed ribbon, it brings up your completion certificate. All right. So that's one way to get it. You can uh, download it at that point. Click the little download button over here. All right. And so once you have it downloaded, then we can move on to the next step. OK, so now we have it downloaded. We've completed step one of download your course completion certificate. Mm -hmm. 
And now you need to log into the CERT Metrics website. Once you're back on the CERT Metrics website, select Exams right here. I'll keep referring you back to the recertification process step by step. It's exactly what it says. Select Exams. Now, right under Exams, you're going to see Enter Course Qualifications from the top navigation menu. It's easy to overlook this, so I'm going to draw your attention to it. Enter Course Qualifications. So as you can see from the top navigation menu, you, you now see Enter Course Qualifications. All right, so that's where you're going to need to click. And before moving on, you can see previous course qualifications that I had inputted uh, years ago down here for recertifying other certifications that I needed to do previously. Now, when you click Enter Course Qualifications, you come to this page and you hit this drop down menu right here and it will take you to the list of certifications that you currently have active. Select the certification you wish, you wish to extend using the course attendance option. So this is the one that I want to extend, Data Center Design Specialist. So I'm going to select that one. Now we're going to click Submit. And that brings us to this page where you enter course qualifications. So I will refer you back to the step-by-step -step of what we're supposed to do to make sure that we do this correctly. So here's the recertification process that I want to make sure that we're tracking with. We have gotten to the point where we now need to verify the certification. No, we already did that. We are at this point. Step six, complete the course qualifications form. Okay, so I will minimize this a little more so that we can input the data correctly. Okay, so it says the first thing you want to do is change the qualification date. Change it to the last day of your course. So right here, this happens to be today's date, but it's saying to change it to the last day of your course. I'll remind you that my course completion certificate, uh, if I can get it into the screen here, here it is, shows the course completion date was Friday, April 1st. All right, uh, but just make sure that the date that you are inputting in here is just as it's describing. You change it to the last day of your course. Mine happens to be April 1st, so I will change to that. Click the little pop-out calendar right here, and then pick your date of the last day of your course. Now that that's done, the next thing you need to do in the notes, you want to enter the word recertification. I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it right into the notes. Okay, there we go. I've pasted recertification into the notes. The next thing, document language, do not change. So right here it says unspecified. Well, I'm not going to touch it. It says don't change it. The next after that is documentation. Click select and attach your course completion certificate. Okay, so I have to move our notes out of the way here. There's the select button right there. So we're going to want to pick select and then we're going to browse for our course completion certificate wherever you had downloaded it on your local computer. Mine happens to be right here in my downloads directory. There it is, the certificate file. Select it. Once it's selected down here at the bottom, hit open. Okay, it now shows that file name right here. It even gives you a um, warning down here at the bottom, two megabyte file upload size. So uh, this is uh, like a 1.6 megabyte file size. I downloaded it right off of the juniper.net learning portal site. 
So hopefully they formatted the size correctly. In my case, we're, I'm, just, I'm fine, so we should be okay. Okay, and at this point it says click Submit. Click Submit. Your submission will be processed in the next two to three days. All right, so let's do that. Here's the Submit button right here at the bottom. All right, and then it brings me to this page. I have a green bar message. Your course qualifications have been submitted and will be processed in the next two to three days. Business days, that is. So don't expect it to happen over a Saturday and a Sunday over a weekend. So I'm going to click up here on certifications because that's what I'm most concerned about is when will my new expiration date of those design certifications take effect. Okay, so now I look under the design track. My two design certifications still have those same old expiration dates. And so we'll keep checking back over the next couple days to see if those get updated. I want to show you one other thing. If I click on exams right here, look what we see now. We see the course qualifications has been updated with the new entry that we just updated and uh, uploaded for the course that I just completed. It also says it's in pending status. So this is good. We can see a little bit of the, the results of what we just did by uploading that course qualification for recertification. All right, check it out. The Juniper Cert Metrics website is now showing that my two data center certifications have been updated for three more years, April 1st, 2025. And not just that, my JNCIA Junos has also been recertified and my JNCIA Cloud. So this is great. It, uh, it went and took care of the other JNCIAs that I have, but it did not uh, recertify my service provider certifications, JNCIP, SP, JNCIS, SP. So I will need to take care of that next year. All right, so that's good news. My certs are recertified and it only took a day for it to happen. Uh, they have that uh, information on their website that says it'll take them two to three business days, but sometimes it happens sooner than that, as you can see. All right, one more thing. If we check the exam link right up here at the top, the exam link, you can now see that the Juniper Networks Data Center uh, course completion certificate that we uploaded earlier now says it is complete. It no longer says pending. All right. Well, hey, I hope this was helpful to you and how you can go about recertifying your Juniper certifications also uh, through course attendance. All right. And also, if you're looking to recertify your Cisco exams, check out one of my other YouTube videos where I also document the process just like this with Juniper of how you accomplish this with Cisco certifications using what are known as CEs, continuing education credits. All right. Well, thank you.